Hey, you, before you watch this, pause the f***ing video and subscribe to Semi-Pro right now. What's going on YouTube, Brian back again with another video. And before I start the video, make sure to subscribe. 97% of you aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you like the content we're pushing out, make sure to press that subscribe button. Now into the video. The Clemson Tigers are coming off a national championship appearance and have been in the college football playoffs for the last five years consecutively. And they probably will be in there again in 2020. Dabo Sweeney is one of the best coaches in college football and has the track record to back it up, as well as the roster to stay on top. Clemson is coming back with their roster almost entirely intact, but they still lost a few players prior to the season. So what does the Clemson roster look like now? The offense looks almost exactly the same as it did last season. Trevor Lawrence is still running the unit at quarterback. He is the most talented player in all of college football. He's going to be the first quarterback taken in next year's NFL draft, and he has a good shot at being the Heisman Trophy winner. There isn't a single quarterback in all of college football who you'd want running your team over Trevor Lawrence. Travis Etienne at running back also has a good shot to win that Heisman Trophy. He's the best running back in all of college football, and he's been breaking records at that running back position for years, and he definitely is not a question mark coming into 2020. The wide receiver position saw the biggest loss of the offseason. T. Higgins was an integral part of the offense, but Clemson still has dudes at the wideout position. First is Justin Ross. He might be even better than Higgins was. He racked in more receptions last season, and I'm sure he will have no problem without Higgins. But he still doesn't have to do it alone. Amari Rogers has all the potential in the world and will be a solid number two receiver. The third receiver is still up in the air. Joe Nada was a bench wideout last year as a freshman, and as a four-star recruit, he has the ability to step up. Or... It could be EJ Williams, who is also a four-star and is coming in as a freshman. Clemson lost John Simpson and Tremaine Ancrum on the offensive line, but let's be honest, it doesn't really matter. Clemson recruits better than almost anyone in the country, and they'll get another lineman to replace them. The defense lost a little more than the offense, but they also recruited heavier defensively as well. Isaiah Simmons has gone to the Cardinals. AJ Terrell is now in Atlanta, and Tanner Muse is living it up in Las Vegas. They still have a lot of talent on the roster. First off, the defensive line is going to be insanely good. Justin Foster, Niles Pickney, Tyler Davis, and Xavier Thomas are all returning on the defensive front, as well as all the backers from last season, and they added the number one recruit in the nation, Brian Bercy, and the number one defensive end, Miles Murphy, as well as DeMonte Capehart, who was also one of the top D-line recruits. That is a scary front. The biggest replacement is needed at safety. Kayvon Wallace is gone, Tanner Muse is gone, and Isaiah Simmons, who is a part-time safety, is also gone. They signed three recruits, RJ Minkins, Tyler Venables, and Malcolm Green. How they will do in the back end is yet to be seen, but they certainly are the biggest question mark moving forward. The corners are just moving one spot up the depth chart. Darion Kendrick is moving into the number one role to replace AJ Terrell, and Mario Goodrich the number two, with Fred Davis added in as a recruit. The linebackers are kind of the same as the cornerbacks as well. Isaiah Simmons is gone, and so is Chad Smith. James Skalski is the only returning starter, and from the looks of it, Braylon Spector and Mike Jones are going to move from backups to starters. All in all, this team is almost the exact same as last season, but they have more time to improve and added more recruits, with only a few key losses. There's a reason why this team is ranked as the number one team in the country by almost every media source headed into the 2020 season. Some people might be tired of Clemson being so consistently dominant, but it's hard not to appreciate this type of greatness.